my friends, welcome to the Lair of Omnisai for another episode of RPG A Day 2020. Today is the fifth day, and our goodwill message is tribute. Now, tribute, of course, means one of two things. It's either a noun, meaning it's a gift or a show of admiration and respect, uh, oftentimes as someone who is of you know substantial stature of some some way, shape, or form, or it's the act of showing respect. So it's either the gift or it is an act. You can do you can perform a tribute to someone or you can give somebody their tribute. And in this case, um, I think that it's appropriate to have a certain level of respectfulness and awareness of what makes the different things in our hobby so awesome. Now, when I first was going to do this, I was thinking to myself, you know, who are the people that I really respect and the people that I would like to spend a, a, a video just talking up? And I thought about all the game designers whose works I've really enjoyed over time. Folks like Jeff D., Gary Gygax, Frank Menser, um, the, the list goes on and on from a variety of different uh, game companies. Uh, even, you know, folks that I may not be as thrilled with their modern products, like Monty Cook, um, you know, still had a big impact on the material that I consumed throughout my career of this hobby. But at the same time, you know, those were folks, for the most part, who have a job. They flex their creativity and they make a game. And a lot of them have a lot of creativity and make a lot of games. I'll just right there, they immediately get my respect for that. Um, but as time goes on, there's the danger of running into something like hero worship, where you start wanting to blind yourself to the flaws of different people. And you have to remember that people who uh, you look up to are people. They're humans. They can fall far short of your expectations and hopes and dreams and desires. And that is often why when we come across somebody who has done something bad and they're somebody that we held in a certain amount of esteem, that esteem can turn to rancor really quickly. You will be outraged possibly by, you know, how could they do this? I thought this person was a really cool guy. And it will make you sadder than anything. Now, that's happened, and I, I again, I think that, uh, you know, the hero, hero, blind hero worship especially can be rather dangerous. But actually, I think far more what has touched my life and the kind of people that I would rather show respect for, um, although, don't get me wrong, all the, you know, the different people who've made all these different games, I still have a ton of respect for. Um, the, you know, the, the Gary Guy X's and Skip Williams and, and Monty Cooks and, you know, of, of the world made some great stuff, and I'm grateful for that stuff. To be able to read it, to grow from it, uh, to become a better gamer by the example of their products. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool, that's awesome. But really what I would rather spend a segment talking about would be the players that I've had. Now, because I don't want to leave anybody out, I don't want anybody to feel like they didn't measure up, I'm not going to mention names. Because quite honestly, when it come down to it, um, sure, there are people who have unequally contributed to my games, contributed to the way that I play, and have shown me sometimes different ways of playing and enjoying this hobby. And there are some people who have, admittedly, held me back in some ways. They made games less enjoyable or gave me extra stress than I probably needed at the time. So I'm not going to, to name any names. There are some people, definitely, that uh, are, I elevate to the top of the list. I, I can put four people at the top very easily. The four most influential people. All of them people who have been in my game for years. And have always been... Yeah. You got a game? Let's play it. Always excited to see what I'm going to be running. Uh, read up on the rules if they can. Know what's going on. Think about the games. Try to make great characters. Um, there's there's definitely folks who, every time I come to the table, if they're at the table, I know it's going to be a pretty good session. 
even if sometimes the rest of the group drags them down a little bit, they'll try. They'll put out their best effort. And that's awesome. That's that's awesome. You guys really are what fired my 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 inspiration and keeps the, the, the drive for me going. I can also say that at almost every point in my gaming career, except possibly the very earliest, when before it was even a career, back when it was just good reading material, um, I always had one of those people hanging around uh, who were in my group who, you know, kept me so inspired. Um, and that's, in, in my mind, essential to my growth and development. Now, I've played groups without those folks, and in the groups that I was with, that's the, the, the vast majority of the other folks that I've, I've had at my table. That includes people with very little experience, but still can rise to an occasion and make great decisions and make great choices. That includes the quiet folks who like to sit off at the side and not get embroiled in the humor and the, the hilarity of what happens. They prefer to um, you know, play a role that can be more withdrawn and, and not necessarily need to contribute as much. But when they come to the fore, it can be startling the impact that they can have, bring their skills to bear, and, in my mind, doing a heck of a job. These are the kind of people that make up the vast majority of games. And every single one of them is special in their own way. They aren't bad. They're often less experienced, maybe a bit more introverted. Um, maybe they aren't as interested in a full-on role-playing experience. They're more interested in a tactical game or, or uh, something that's very, very uh, light when I'm doing something a little more serious. Something like that. And that's, that's fine. Without folks like you, I wouldn't have had groups big enough that I could have had the experience of role-playing in, so I have to recognize you. Again, I'm saying this like I expect most of these people to kind of know... If you were one who was really held in high esteem in my group and, you know, we've talked about the game at length and, and things like that, then I think you know where you fit. Now, if you are not one of the top, don't feel bad. You are a great player. If you came to my table more than once as a one-shot, you probably had something that I enjoyed. Um... And, and even if I didn't personally invite you, say I was running a pickup game and you showed up, or I did a con game and you, you were there, I didn't have maybe the time to appreciate everything that you brought, but you didn't turn me off. There are very few people that I've ever had play at my games that left me with a worse experience than I, than I got. At worst, I was nonplussed. At best... You know, you you connected with me in a way that I enjoyed and, and, and wouldn't have minded you being more of a regular part of my group. But, you know, maybe you're from a different country or maybe circumstances wouldn't work that way or something like that. But nonetheless, I appreciate every single one of you, even if I can't even remember your names anymore over all this time. But realistically, most of my best friends I've gotten through gaming and anybody who's on my friends list, 90% of you... That is, the folks who aren't family, which I don't have very many, um, are friends of mine that I've made through gaming or some connection that way. So, hey, appreciate and love all of you. Um, you've made this a long and very rewarding hobby. At the very bottom are about maybe four people, and I didn't bother to remember your names, um, that you deliberately showed up and made problems. Yeah, it happens. Um... But it, like I said, over all that career, there's only maybe four people that I've ever had that I wished weren't in the game. That's an amazingly small number, especially if you go to some of these sites and somebody will post a rant about how this, this story about how this DM wrecked their game or these players wrecked their game. I honestly haven't had that experience very often. Part of it is because I'm an experienced DM and I know how to roll with punches that some people can throw. Fine. Um... Oftentimes, just clashing of personalities. I don't consider that to be a bad player, just sometimes you just don't mesh with a person. But I'm really talking about people who go out of their way to make sure that you're going to have a worse time for their own benefit, and that's sad, but it's such a small number. This hobby doesn't generally attract people who are like that. Yeah, a couple will slip in. 
It's the way it is for any group. Any hobby has people who are not model citizens, to say the least. But it's a vanishingly small number, it's in my experience. Generally, if somebody comes up and tells me, hey, I'm a gamer, I'm already predisposed to like them because I think they're creative. I think that they're experienced in social gatherings. And I have something in common with them that we can talk about and relate. Maybe you've got some great stories. Usually somebody does. Maybe it's a story about the game they ran. Maybe it's a story about uh, this awesome character they had. And yeah, I know the trope. If you're a gamer, you've got the story of your character that you just can't wait to tell everybody. Well, I generally enjoy listening to those stories. I may eye roll a little bit. Because, you know, if you tell me that your character took out the entire, you know, uh, Greek pantheon and you have all of their weapons and you've snatched their powers and now rule Olympus, okay, you had an interesting DM who allowed you to roll with all of that. Sure, no problem. Um, not what I would do, but hey, it doesn't devalue your experience. You still had fun to the point you're relating it to me. That means that it did its job. It entertained you, and that's awesome. As a matter of fact, now that I've been reading the new... Uh, Adventures in Theros book, the idea of gods directly coming into conflict with the players comes more and more evident. But, if you are a gamer, I generally already respect you to a certain extent, more so than a courtesy that I extend to almost anyone else. It could be ruined, of course, but generally it positively predisposes me towards you. And hopefully that means everybody here in my audience, anybody who watched this video, just know off the bat, if you're a gamer, I'm generally going to probably like you, unless you are deliberately, you know, harmful, toxic, what have you. So, that's cool. So, my tribute, basically, is I want to show respect to all of you. Um, know that, whatever your experience is, if you feel humbled because you've had bad experiences and, and maybe don't think so much of your skills as a role player or a game master. Maybe you've had ruinous experiences as a game master. You know what? You tried. You tried to entertain people, and that's cool. If it didn't work, I hope that someday you get the strength to pick yourself back up again and try again. Maybe you had a group that broke apart. Not your fault, but things happen and life can really intervene that's the case, I hope you find another group. If that's something that you enjoyed, I really hope that you can find another group and enjoy that game again, because it's a great hobby. If you've played and you didn't like it, something about it really, really bothered you, I hope you pick up the pieces and try a different game or try with a different group. If your problems were interpersonal, then by all means, I hope you can find another group. And with what's available online, the potential is there. As long as you have access to the internet, you can play it almost any hour of the day. But if it was the game that you didn't like, well, there's a lot of them out there. Hopefully you can find another game to try. Um, because if you had an interest in the hobby at all, and you tried and it didn't work, yeah, I would just urge you to try again. It's a heck of a hobby. If you find the right group and the right game, the right setting, it can be magical. So, that's basically my tribute. My tribute is to us, the gamers, the people who make this hobby what it is. If it wasn't for people out there who play these games, who tell fantastic stories, I wouldn't be working on making a game myself. I wouldn't be standing here in front of a camera and relating these things to you. I wouldn't do any of it because there's no audience, there's no point. It's the audience it's the people that make this hobby worthwhile. So that's why my tribute goes out to all of you. You who are watching, those you play with, and I hope that someday, maybe you'll feel comfortable enough that you'll share some of your stories. Maybe you'll leave a comment telling me what you think of things. Boxes below, feel free. But really, I hope when you come away for this, you feel better about yourself than knowing that some chunky guy on a camera thought that you're cool. And I'm glad that you're watching my videos. Um, it makes me know that you want to see some better content, something that's positive and uplifting, and you're a better person for reaching out in such a way that you want to see positive content rather than just people tear things down all the time. and. It's good. It's good. I, I, I respect you and I thank you again very much from the bottom of my heart for showing up for this. So, 
that is my RPG a day video for the day. Hopefully, uh, this finds you in great health. Hopefully, everything's going well for you. Um, hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow for my next video. So, until that time, here at the Lair of Omnisci, I am Omnisci. Thank you very much for joining me. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>